Hey guys, what's going on? It's Steph here. Hope you've been doing well. I know I have. And today, you may notice that we're already in the woods and you're not seeing my treasure map. So sorry for those of you who like to read it, because I've gotten a lot of comments that you do. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different today. And we're going to go completely analog. No metal detectors. Well, we, we did bring our Garrett carrots, our little pinpointers with us. But what we're going to do today is go to a site, well, we're already there, <laughs> with a sifter. And we're going to sift for some non-metallic items. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll get some small little buttons and marbles and that kind of fun stuff here too. Um, I'll turn you around really quick. I'm going to show you what the site looks like. This is a very early one. We both had success digging here, but effectively it is hunted out. I know there's no such thing as hunted out, but we've been here with multiple machines, multiple coils, and uh, we haven't come up with anything in probably over a year. So we're going to see what happens, but first let me show you where we're at. All right, so here's the site we're working with. You can barely make it out, but uh, <laughs> that's a way to do it. All right, so it's probably about four feet deep, um, and I would say about maybe 12 feet wide, somewhere in there. You can barely see any stones, uh, just a couple that have fallen in there. You can't even see an old chimney pile. There is a slight one back there, so we'll go around real quick. But um, it's very, very old. And the relics we found here are, you know, dating between, I don't know, late 17th century, very early to maybe mid 18th century. So that's old. <laughs> this is actually the first cellar hole I ever hunted, ever. Um, back in 2017, I think. So this is the remainder of the chimney pile. Okay. And I found a ton of stuff right back here, which is usually a hot spot right behind the chimney pile. Oftentimes you'll find a lot of different things. So found parts of shoe buckles here, some cufflinks, buttons, etc. right in here. So we'll be sifting here for sure. And then this is a good tip for you if you don't know. Here's the well that we're coming up on. Now, the reason I say this is a tip is because anything between the well and the homestead, that is a lot of foot traffic, you guys. So you definitely wanna make sure that you dig, you know, go detecting around those specific spots because where there is foot traffic, there are relics and there are coins. Um, so in any event, we're gonna get started, I think, and uh, we'll let you know what we find. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, which I really shouldn't be forgetting. <laughs> In case you missed last week's video, I am now an affiliate of Kellyco Metal Detectors. So if you need anything metal detecting related, gold prospecting, you name it, let me know. Shoot me an email at stephdigs at gmail.com. I'll be able to help you out. Or you can just visit the links in the description below. Okay, now we're really going to get started. All right, first sifter full. Let's see what we got here. So we've got a few pieces of pottery, some porcelain. Great sign. And you know, whenever I come here, these have been incidental digs as well. So oftentimes you'll find this stuff in the hole with metal. Uh, we have a little square nail here. Let's see if I can get an age on that. It's pretty old. That might actually be a rose head. So that confirms the age of the site. So this is another, um, I know we don't like digging nails with a metal detector, but when you're going out here sifting, it also helps you, you know, confirm the age of the place. So that's cool. And I thought I saw some glass in here, yep. How do you like that? That's 300 year old window glass. Or is that a rock? Nope, that's window glass, is it? Yeah. God, I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a first for me. Is this more pottery here? No. So, yeah, there's only a few, you know, shovelfuls of dirt, so it just shows. You know, the reason we do this is because um, it, the history behind the non metallic items is certainly just as important as the history behind the metallic items in terms of saving and excavating a site. So Nick has her pile of dirt there, but before we get into that, I know I'm going into a lot of detail on the site, guys, but I just feel it's really important. She picked up all those stones from a very small area right here. So those are the original foundation stones. And I just wanted to show you because naturally they're pretty much covered up everywhere because the site is so old. What is that? I don't know. Is this iron? No, it's not iron. It's wood. Maybe some scale from something. What do you got? Porcelain? No, I thought it was like a pewter button, but I think it's uh, organic. I'm not sure. I don't know either, actually. <laughs> Probably just looking at bark and peeking out over it, but you know. I assume those are just little stones. 
careful because there could be trade beads in here. So do we have a, a hole in this? Nope. <laughs> Well, not every shovel full is going to have treasure in it, but you know. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. Some of these moss clumps are making it tough. Break those up in my hands. Oh, I see something already. Come here. It's a piece of glazed pottery. Nice. Well, we'll just keep this in there for now because I don't have to. Well, you know what? I'll put it in my pouch or we'll just keep it out here. I can't decide. You can tell I've never done this. Rocks. Some of these roots, I just have to say, mess, you know, forget it and throw them out. Oh, there we got some more. A little bit more porcelain. All right. Now I kind of wish I hadn't put that other one away because, oh, it's still here. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, so after searching through this pile, this is what I ended up with. I know it's kind of tough to see with the background there, but. We have a few more pieces of window glass. This is part of a kettle. It looks like a kettle point for a minute, but we're not that lucky. <laughs> so it's part of an 18th century cooking pot. Um, a lot more porcelain here. This is that glazed piece I just showed you. And these shards I always keep. I, I keep all of my shards. I'm still trying to figure out how to display them. I might put them in mason jars, um, but that's really cool. And there was a piece in here that I thought might be part of a, uh, clay pipe, which is deep down what we're really looking for today. The curvature seems correct. Um, however, normally there'd be some kind of a burn mark that might be there. So I found one of these before, a complete bowl and the stems actually. I found uh, the pipe in three pieces, but um, did you find something else? No. Okay. Uh, but the inside of the bowl was black, black, black. So. Not sure if that's what that is, but hey. All right, Nicola's next pile of dirt. Let's check it out. Ooh, hey, there's some hey. stuff. All right, get it in the light for me brick. if you could. I think it's brick or? No, this is, uh, because that's rounded off. Oh, that's just that's <laughs> bark. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Yeah, that's this the lip of a, a bowl or something. Cool. All right, so put those over there for now. And I thought I saw some window glass when you were dumping it in here. Here's a piece of glass. Yep. Hey. Some more window glass for you. Window glass always fascinates me just because the last time anyone looked through it was two to three hundred years ago. All right. <gasps> Petrie, look at her. Oh, my oh God. no. Oh. Why are you sitting right we there? We have a casualty. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Petrie. Silly. She loves to be in the dirt. Yeah, how'd that feel? <laughs> Feels like a bath time, doesn't it? All right. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, so I'm back to my spot over here. And I just thought, you know what? I'll just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper with this hole. And I couldn't wait to turn on the camera. Look at these massive pieces of pottery. And there's still a ton of glaze on them. That is too cool. Oh my god. That's amazing. Like, I, I've never found pottery pieces that big. That is just huge. Uh, I kind of hope it wasn't like a, <laughs> a chamber pot, but hey, even if it was, oh my God, that is awesome. All right, I'll get back to you when I've got that filled. I'm gonna put this aside because, you know, at first I thought these were bricks or rocks or something, but oh my God. All right, now it's getting cool. <laughs> we got more, more of that same pot. That is cool. All right, well, we're not gonna lose that. I'm gonna try to do this with my hands first. It's just a rock. All right, so we're down to rocks. We're gonna do some close up here. Anything? Yep, another piece of it, throw it in the corner. Oh, what's this? I don't think that's clay. I, I did determine earlier, I really think that other piece that I was uh, highlighting was a clay pipe. I don't think this is. This is more porcelain and pottery. Thumbnail. Oh yeah, okay. 
that might actually be a keeper. So this is another uh, rosehead nail. And these were commonly in use, I believe, in the late 1600s to maybe mid 1700s. So again, shows you the age and potential of this place. And it's kind of good that we're clearing these out because like I said, um, nails will mask really good targets. So that's why you should revisit your sites. And we're pulling out a lot of those nails today. What's this? A neat looking rock, bye-bye. All right, so I was about to just kind of cut to like my, you know, my finds from this blah, blah, blah. I was doing a last sift through and uh, can you see it? I'm not saying do you see it, so I'm not ripping off aqua chair, or at least I'm not trying to. But it'd be really hard to go through this episode without saying, is it human? Because <laughs> he does that with bones. Um, I don't know what to say. You know, I, I was saying that, Nicola, I think this is probably a rabbit or something. Because that would have been a popular uh, meal back then. And I have found bones back here that were definitely, you know, like deer bones. Um, but that's not really what you expect to find sifting. So I'm going to set this right over here. <laughs> Um, we're going to look a little bit more closely now, I guess, because I was about to dump this and then just show you guys, you know, the better stuff that I found, but, okay, so, uh, here's where we're at. Besides that tooth, we've got this bigger piece, that's the bigger piece that I found in the clot of dirt that we threw up here. To give you an idea, I mean, this is like the size of my hand. It's that massive piece, those two really big pieces. Uh, some other smaller pieces, and I believe we've got some window glass here. This was cool. Um... It's got like a bubble in it. And these homes very often burned down in the 1700s, so it could have burned down. I haven't found that in terms of evidence with my finds looking burnt from this site, but hey, you never know. Um, certainly could have been a burn pile back here because I think this area was where they threw their trash because that is where I found bones before and um, broken shoe buckle bits and that kind of stuff. So we'll keep sifting in here and see if we find more teeth. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll be back with you soon. All right, real quick before we get to uh, Nicola's shovelfuls of dirt on the other side, as I was putting the, um, the finds from the corner of the sifter in my pouch, I noticed that this was not porcelain. So if you don't know what this is, this is part of an oyster shell, and oysters were incredibly uh, popular in terms of a regular food item in your house uh, back in the 1700s. I found a full oyster shell here a couple of years ago, and I like finding them. That's why I think that tooth is not human. I think it's a rabbit or something because, you know, like I said, I've found a lot of food stuffs over here before. And in fact, I did find part of an oyster fork as well a few years ago. So it's a cool piece. Another keeper. All right, let's see. Got more of that pottery. <laughs> I might be able to put that pot back together at this point. Let's see, I spotted a couple more oyster shells too. A few more. You see that? Food of the colonial era. <laughs> it's got quite a few of those, I think. Some more pottery. All right, there was quite a bit in those shovelfuls, so we've got much more of that big uh, pot. It's a nice shiny piece of it there. And I wanted to point this out as well. We saw a few of these come up. These are old onion bulbs, and that was another uh, common thing that the colonials would plant and obviously eat. So that's pretty cool. They're still growing, you know, 300 years later. Uh, a few more nails here, like I was saying. Uh, this one's a rose head. Okay, this one, I think it might be another rose head, so I'll hang on to those. More pottery, oyster shells, and some window glass here. Did we find anything else? I thought I found another piece of bone right here. says that bone look to it to me so okay so we're at the well now uh, Nick wasn't having the best luck over at the side of the cellar but the well is usually a hot spot for fine so we're gonna see what's in this first dump all right what have we got some pottery right up the back okay there we go it's better already <laughs> there's nothing over on the side of the cellar I think there was a piece right here. Is that? Yep. All right. All right, right off the bat. 
nice big piece there. Let me try to get that in some kind of semblance of light here. There we go. So it's pretty cool right off the bat. You want to hang on to that? I'm going to put a little bit too much dirt in here this time, I think. Let's see what we got. A little bit more porcelain. All right, so a couple more pieces of that red pottery. Or earthen redware, I believe is what it's called. Some more porcelain. Um, and they all appear to be part of like a teacup or something. Possibly. That's not a good example. I don't remember what happened to that piece. Uh, that could be brick, window glass. And then something pretty cool came out. I checked this on the metal detector. Well, I have my pinpointer with me and it did not read up. So it's possible this is part of a bone button, uh, which would be super cool, but I'll have to clean it up at home and see, because that's definitely not natural. Um, you know, I, I felt it a little bit, trying not to break it, of course, and it does feel like bone. So if that's what that is, that is really, really neat. This could probably be the last go here because it's getting kind of dark. Yeah, and hence it's hard to focus. Well, <laughs> I am on the bones today, guys. See, that's not human. I think this is from a deer. <laughs> so you're eating venison out here. This is from a 200 to 300 year old deer. That's really cool. Put that aside. See what else we can find. All right, this is really exciting. I keep telling Nick to cut the camera because I'm gonna fade into, you know, like when I've got everything out. But we found what we're looking for. I'm excited. Clay pipes, we got them, boom. Check that out. Yeah. Clay pipe. I found this one and then she pointed this out. That's awesome. That's all I was really hoping for today, you guys. That's so exciting. And then I saw another piece over here, potentially. I think that's a piece of wood. I don't know, but it has a hole going through, it looks like. No, that's no. wood, you're right. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's all I really wanted today. Clay pipes, baby. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so here's my take. Really, really excited about those clay pipe pieces. That uh, means this place really has potential to find bowls. I did think I found a piece of a bowl earlier. It's a massive tooth, which I assume is a deer for venison. A couple pieces of bone and some more pottery. And this little pretty piece. It's a nice piece of porcelain there. All right. Oh, one more thing, last but not least, never leave a site like this. We're gonna clean it up right now and I will show you some photographic evidence right when we're done that we have filled it in. You gotta do your part, keep these sites intact, guys. If you're gonna do this, be responsible. And there you have it. Only took a couple of minutes and it's just as good as when we found it. So let's go back to the house now look up that pottery, all the different kinds that we found, and put a date on them, and a usage. And maybe even date those clay pipes as well. Let's go. All right, it's the next day. We've got everything home, and that's quite a spread. <laughs> so let's try to go over it. All right, so first, the not so exciting stuff are nails that we usually dig up as detectorists anyway. But as I was mentioning in the video, these are rosehead nails, which date between, I don't know, the late 1600s to mid 1700s. And you can tell it's a rosehead because it's got four distinct, uh, like, slams on the top. <laughs> uh, so that is pretty cool. Don't mind my fingers. I will explain that in a minute as to why my hands look weird right now. I was using glue for something pretty awesome. Okay. So our window glass, here, there is one piece that's on the greener side. So I don't know, maybe that was from a bottle because the rest are pretty distinctively blue. Um, that part of a cooking vessel. Well, we find those a lot. They sound pretty good on the metal detector and they're usually a disappointment, but when you're dump digging, they're not necessarily a disappointment. Different environment. Um, this is some of the more interesting stuff. So we've got what I believe is a rabbit tooth, a deer tooth. Um, this is what's called, I believe, Buckley wear. This would be uh, 18th century all day long, and it's characterized by having a very dark black glaze to it uh, that is void of detail, you know, any kind of decoration like that. And I believe this may also be the same thing. 
I actually found four pieces that matched together. There were these, I think these were the two massive pieces I found in the same hole or the same shovel full of dirt, and I did manage to glue them back together. That's why I'm covered in glue. <laughs> but what a massive piece. And what's really cool is I can probably, you know, because it's curved like this, I can actually display some of my better pieces of uh, pottery and porcelain in here. We'll take a look at the other side real quick. So you can tell very different, yeah, you can tell this one, this piece right here was in a little bit of a different environment than the piece next to it because the coloring is different. So really cool. I'm so thrilled I was able to put that back together. And we've got a lot more of the same right here. Tons and tons of white porcelain, like I said, oops, I'm gonna have to get that. I don't know where it went. Um, like I was saying in the video, I, I think part of this was a teacup. That's what I have to imagine just based on the curvature of some of these pieces. So that's what I'm gonna go with for now. Um, but your guess is as good as mine. So let's move back over here because if you can identify a couple of things for me, that would be most welcome. I'm not sure what this is. Um, part of me wants to say it's like Native American pottery <laughs> because I've seen some examples that look pretty similar to this. Uh, but I don't really know. It's very light, uh, but that's definitely a distinct mark right there. So I'm not sure. This is a piece I was highlighting in the video. I can't make heads or tails of it. It's definitely not natural. And now that I've rinsed it off, you can really see um, it's definitely, it was on something that was round probably. I mean, this could have been on the face of a pipe. It could be a bottle seal. I don't know. I was doing some research on those, but coming up empty in terms of the non-metallic bottle seals. Um, and this doesn't appear to be any kind of glass. So would really appreciate any help I can get on that. Uh, I believe this is a bone scale. And then also obviously wanted to move on to the highlights for me. Um, this is part of a clay pipe bowl. And the way I determined that was after I found these two stems, they really look very similar in composition. So I, I do believe that's definitely clay. Let's see, can we see through this? Can we hold it up to the sun and see? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I could do the same with the other one too, but I don't wanna make you too dizzy. So um, these pieces, because the holes are relatively small in comparison with some other clay pipes, these probably date to around the late 1700s, somewhere around there. So just wanted to update you on that. And that is all the time we have. So I really hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and of course the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we will see you next week.